What's up, Takeover Gang? It's your girl, Maya. And it's your boy, Daniel. What's funny? <laughs> I said Takeover Gang. <laughs> So y'all, it's game night in the Loving household. Tonight we are playing Would You Rather and we got us some seafood here, y'all. I'm so excited, my salivating. Ooh. We have some crawfish from one of our favorite places, Miller's in Hammond off Old Baton Highway. We have some um, some shrimp and then some Dungeness crab legs and corn potatoes made by our own pops. So, I'm I know. I so, just got off the job. I know, I'm hungry too, I didn't eat. I only ate once today. But the way this is gonna work is I have my iPad here and we have 20 questions on it. So each of us, we're gonna alternate picking a number and then the other person's gonna read the question to them and then we're gonna answer them. I have seen the questions. Maya has it, but I still don't like, I didn't know where I order anything, but. Yeah, but before we get into this, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, all that, share with your what aunties, your brothers, your sisters, your nannies, all of them. We need them to check out the takeover game. Baby right? and her chaps, all of them. So yeah, so I need to eat. <laughs> I need to get some food in my system. Sure, I ain't gonna, I'm about to go ahead and dive Man, in. What? We I got a little phone. garlic butter here that I made. Mm. I need Bless potato. Oh. Bless him, bless him. Oh, we need to say grace. Thank Lord, thank you for this food. By the receive, let it be a nourishment to our body. Blessing as it's prepared in my two feet. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, I had to go with a quick prayer because I am hungry. I say, you had a little, you prayed expeditiously. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, that garlic butter that I made is so good. <laughs> good I got me a little cocktail to the side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for this game, you want to go first or you want me to go first? So I gotta, okay, so what I gotta do, I gotta pick a number. Pick a number. And, and I'm gonna read questions. this question. And we'll pick out 20 questions? Yeah. Okay. So pick a number one through 20. All right, hold on. Let me get another one. Let me get me set up. I'm gonna get a little bit on my tray, then I'm gonna. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Child, hold on, let me eat this car. Okay, right. anyway. Let so me pick go ahead. Pick a number. Two. Number two. Okay, so would you rather be stuck on an island alone or with someone who talks incessantly? I'm gonna have to be on there with somebody that talks. Just listen. <laughs> listen. I get bored easy. Child. Child, but that's okay because if they talk too much, all I gotta do is just put them in that water. You gonna throw the people in the water? Down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. I'm gonna lay them on down by. Shut up. Okay. Get on my nerves if you want them. Look at it, look at it, look at the happy on that island. Okay, you pick a number. Uh, I'm gonna start my favorite number. My favorite number is seven. So, all right, number completion. Mm -hmm. right. Would yeah. you rather have all traffic lights? Wait. Oh, wow. Would I you like rather? Mm -hmm. uh, would you rather have all traffic lights you approach be green or never have to stand in line again? I ain't gonna ever stand in line again. You know why? Huh? Because at least with the light turn red, I'll be sitting down. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you already sitting down. What you mean? If I have to stand in line, then that means I'm standing up. I'm confused. So what's the question <laughs> saying? It said, said, would you rather have all traffic lights you approach be green or never have to stand in line again? Right. So I chose never stand in line again because if all the traffic lights that I approach are not green, that means that some of them are red and I'm going to have to wait at the traffic light. But it said, would you rather have all traffic lights you approach be green? You're you missing the logic, baby. I'm confused by your response, baby. So I'm going to go ahead and pick another number. Okay, pick another number. Ten. Number 10, that's another one of my favorite numbers. That's my third favorite number. Anyway, so, ooh, 
I like this question. Would you rather get rich through hard work or through winning the lottery? Hard work. You gonna explain? Anything that come too easy won't last. Mmm. That's it. Good words. Say your lesson, daughter. Hard bone shot. Wow. Okay. Mmm. I'm gonna pick three. Three? All right, so would you rather go deep sea diving or bungee jumping? Mmm. Hmm. Hmm. That's a good one. If you go deep sea diving, you see all the fishes and the all the fish and the whales and uh and everything. But that pressure down there get that get alive. Also, I can swim, but I can't swim like talking about it. So I'm gonna go bungee jumping. <laughs> Where you gonna bungee jump from? He ain't ask all that. Where you gonna bungee jump to? That light went out, but oh well. He ain't ask all that either. Therefore. <clears throat> Hope you ain't got a bungee jump in the people ocean. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't get a thumbnail or nothing, Jesus. It was so <laughs> Um. Okay, so pick a number, pick a number. We made it through all of them. Five. Number five. Would you rather be royalty a thousand years ago or be an average person today? I am royalty. That's not what the question ago. said. Mm. I don't know what the question said. I, I'm royalty. I'm going with royalty, because first of all, my father is a king. Okay. I mean, I agree with you. Help a comment. <clears throat> My father is a king. And he's richest in houses and land. Okay, so therefore. Mm -hmm. Don't let finish your statement. Therefore, what? I'm rich. Can I borrow $20 then? Mm hmm. Okay, thank you. You'll have to get it after the first. <laughs> <laughs> The first just passed. <laughs> it is after the first. <laughs> no. June first. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, the food. Wait, pick a number. Mm. Um, number eleven. Would you rather mm -hmm. have to sew all your clothes or grow your own food? I'm gonna grow my own food because you be hungry all the time. You may have to put my business out like that. Mm, and then, too, I just can't imagine myself sitting in front of nobody's sewing machine to have mm -mm. the clothes I'll be the man. <laughs> you know what I do? I'll be the took me a sheet and just wrapped around me every day and tied it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Y'all, mm -mm. I'm laughing because I'm imagining this fool. Then you sit up here and have mm -mm. both of his running. sleeves coming out on this side. I'll put my arms in. <laughs> mm -mm, it's not gonna work. Um, it's my turn. Mm -hmm. mm. 20. 20. <laughs> so, would you rather get a cooking lesson from Gordon Ramsay or Ina Garden? Gordon. Do you even know who Ina is? Mm -mm, that's why I said Gordon. That's the best looking pencil. She like. She like a white auntie that could actually cook. She like a white auntie. Ooh, <laughs> 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 that she could actually cook for me. I didn't finish that statement. I know plenty. She thought it, and I was right along with you. I'm gonna have to tell you, Anna, because Anna, that's she's my friend. I ain't gonna lie. When I saw that question, when I read the question, I was you like, made mm. Huh? You a virtual friend? Hmm. You a virtual friend? Hmm. Pick a number. Um. Any Pick a number, any number. Let's go 15. Would you rather mm -hmm. know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? Mm. Mm. I would rather know when, but not how. That's fair. Because, like... <laughs> if I knew how, I'd be trying to, I'd be trying to prolong it. I'm going to teeter the chat to the, to the, like, if I knew I was going to die in a car crash, I would never, I would never drive a car, never get in a car. But, like, if I knew when I was going to die, 
And like, I can make sure I have everything tied up. I can have my last will and testament. I can make sure, you know, I do everything that I want to do before I die. That'd be that, I can retire, you know? So, yeah, choose win. This food is so good, oh my God. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes I just be having to be quiet. Just be quiet, just be quiet for a mm -hmm. Anyway, all right. I'm gonna go with number 12. Numero 12, okay. Ooh. Would you rather be an Olympic gold medalist or a Nobel Peace Prize winner? Nobel Peace. Mm-hmm. One day, y'all. <laughs> Why you had to breathe like that? Cause that was a good question. <clears throat> I know, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, really, mm -hmm. yeah that's Nobel Peace Prize. I, probably, I was gonna say, I probably said the same thing too. Cause that show you, you done did something for the people. You done did something. You man. ain't just go and flip and be athletic. You did something for the people. Nothing against you, Olympic gold medalist. But anyway, okay. So the number that I choose is going to be. We never chose number one. Would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors, or go into the future? And meet your great great grandchildren. You probably know how to meet your great great grandchildren. <laughs> Shut up! Then you probably already met his grandchildren. Mm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say ancestors. For the simple fact that I feel like. I didn't talk to them. Because they're in my lineage, my great great grandchildren are gonna be great. Okay. They're gonna be wonderful. But like, I need, I want to know from whence I came. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Was Martin Luther in my in my lineage? Was Harriet? I think we was Kendra Rosa. Why you say that? Well, she kind of look like nothing. And we don't take no BS. She do kind of look like, she do. She tired. I'm gonna name Cause little I'm going to sit on that bus and I shall not be moved. Just Tell like that I'm tired. Just like that tree planted by that river. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I should not be moved. Come on. Mm. The word. Child, yeah, yeah. When I get on the bus, I be tired. Okay, I ain't about to move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was thinking. thing, I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> okay. I was thinking. The Lord knew what he was doing putting me in this time period because they would have killed my behind. I would have like, <laughs> you want me to pick cotton? <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> No, so, you would have been a house nigga. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Child, I would have been in there teaching them chair in Spanish. Now you how like, to cook, baby? Uh, uh, that ain't what you gotta do. What y'all Tony is? Mm-hmm. Child, you right? Cause mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know how? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The guy here, pick your number. Eight. Pick a number, any number. Ooh. This is an interesting question. Would you rather give up wine for a year or drink nothing but wine for a year? <laughs> <laughs> it was a face for me. The second question for $200. Oh, wait. I only can drink it for that year? Oh, I can't drink it no more. No, you can, no, 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 no. Give up wine for a year or drink nothing but wine for a year. I'm gonna drink nothing but wine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got, you know, they got studies saying that wine is linked to, to good health. Jesus turned this water to wine. Right. Mm-hmm. Wine is good for you. It's just like that alkaline. So, you gotta go see my TikTok for that one. <laughs> That's like, it's like you taking communion every day, all day long. All you gotta do is pray over it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the that wine is mine. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Do this in remembrance of me. Yeah. Okay, let me pick a number. Um, the number 14. <clears throat> Would you rather never age physically or never age mentally? I feel like if y'all know me, <laughs> <laughs> the question that I've already been answered by my life. 
I would have to choose to never age physically because basically I'm a 70 year old man that's stuck in, how old am I? I'm stuck in my body. They ain't been here, <coughs> they ain't been here before. For real, a couple times. Mm -hmm. You used to ride on by. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go with uh, 11. 11. I, I chose that one already. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, 13. Mm. Would you rather be an extra? Oh, one, one, nine, one, three. Would you rather be an extra in an Oscar winning movie or the lead in a box office? <laughs> <laughs> it's on your, your lip, too. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, would you rather be. <clears throat> An extra in an Oscar winning movie or the lead in a box office bomb? What the hell? What the hell? Box office bomb. It bombed at the box office. Like it didn't do well? Yeah. But you were the lead though. Sometimes it's not always about being the lead. However, come if that with the check looking like That's a hint, huh? That's what I was thinking. I'm gonna go with the lead. Cause I done made my coins. I done, whatever you do at the um the box office ain't got nothing to do with me. Well, not necessarily. Well, kind of sort of. But however, comma. If you sign that contract and they paid you that money, I done already got my check for mm -hmm. the um for the for the for the service. Mm -hmm. Child, I'm just glad to be in the service one more time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna pick number seventeen. Would you rather donate your organs to those who need them or donate your entire body to science? Child, I'm gonna donate them organs so I can help a life. Cause ain't no telling what them science people, them science people be done had me here, there, and everywhere. Um, Child, I would've been a, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you would, boy. They had me being a hoe for science. They had me here, there. <laughs> Child, let me pick a number, any number. Mm-hmm. Pick a number, any she number. She's black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she been through some things. She got a story to tell. Come on here, pick a number. 18. We did it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Would you rather be criticized or be ignored? Criticized. Okay. Can you explain? Because I feel like when you criticize, um, you can learn from criticism. This is this is fair. Also, criticism doesn't have to be negative. Right. That's fair. Criticism can be very much good. Right. But also, if people ignore you, and that means they leave you the hell alone. You can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, but if you don't have nobody criticizing you, that's fair. How can I see. You learn? Like, I how see. Can you... mm -hmm. You need criticism in order to grow. That's fair. That's fair. I give you that. Pick a number, any number. Have we done well? <clears throat> Child, it's me eating these mm -hmm. crabs. It's me eating these crabs with these kitchen shears for me. But anyway. Yeah, we do. Okay. What about four? Would you rather feel worse if no one showed up to your <laughs> wedding or your family? Oh. Well, <laughs> I would say, I would say to my wedding, because first and foremost, I'm going to marry myself because I'm forever single. But two, I feel like, shut up, I like being single. But I feel like if nobody showed up to your funeral, and that means like, Dang, like nobody loves you, nobody did, like you didn't do anything for anybody, like you what didn't touch anybody. Why? Right. Like you didn't touch anybody enough if they wanted to show up for like your last moment. Also, if nobody showed up for my funeral, who gonna eulogize me? Who gonna put me in the grave? So I'm just gonna, gonna, gonna be sitting there dead, just sitting there just like. <laughs> I guess you are gonna eulogize yourself, huh? Hmm. 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 Child, I guess I better get the writing. Hmm. <laughs> Child, I, I'll go if I have to go by myself. That's what the words say. That's what it says. Okay. Pick a number. I don't know what number we ain't picked. Did we pick three? Mm-hmm. So. You can't look at them. Oh, I'm talking with hell. I don't know. You got nine? I'm going to go with nine. No problem. Mm-hmm. I feel like I know what the answer's gonna be for you. 
Would you rather have a cook or a maid? Yeah. <laughs> a maid. Okay. Because a maid can cook too, huh? Yeah, well, that's true. They're going to also clean. Damn. I probably said the same thing because I can cook all that at home, but child. I can cook, yeah, I can cook myself. Sometimes clean, cleaning is exhausting. Yeah. Child. Oh, you'll wake up on a Saturday morning, mama have us cleaning. Child, by the time I get through cleaning, I need a nap. <laughs> but sometimes that cleaning just have to wait till the end of the week. Mm -hmm. No, we're not dirty. Mm -mm. We're not dirty at all. All right, well, understand. Okay, so tell me what I got to choose from. Rather be able to read mine. I didn't choose a oh, question. Oh, I'm sorry. You only got one question. Uh, well. Okay. Would you rather? Um, I don't know. We got two. Okay. 16 and 19. Mm -hmm. I'll go with 16. Would you rather be able to read minds or predict the future? Read minds or predict the future? I'm going to have to go with predict the future because, first and foremost, how people be thinking some crazy stuff, and I don't know if I want to be reading people mad. Listen, <laughs> okay. Child, because one of our neighbors earlier was, child, she had me so confused. She was just sitting outside in the grass, child, recording the air conditioning. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and she had no shoes broke. on or nothing, Jesus. It was broke? Mm -hmm. I don't know what was wrong with it, but she was sitting there recording it. Um, And if I could predict the future, like I could predict the stock market. Make my investments. Mm -hmm. I can predict the lottery numbers. You know, I can make bets and stuff. I'm so, probably bush. I'm gonna go with predicting the future. Mm -hmm. I ain't mad at that. <laughs> we got one more question, y'all. We yeah. finna head out. All right. So, would you rather vomit on your hero or have your hero <laughs> vomit on you? <laughs> what? I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> I'm gonna vomit. So, on first and foremost. So really, really. And then so first and foremost, who is your hero or one of your heroes? Let's identify that. I don't know. You don't have a hero. So Michael, Michael's a hero. Mm -mm. I don't say Michael was no hero. Um. I'm still going to vomit on them no matter who it is. Oh, you see? You still with these. Because I see, this is the way I thought about it. I thought about the opposite way because then if they vomit on you, for one, that's like an awesome story to tell. And they probably going to feel bad. Well, they going to feel bad. And they going to probably like give you stuff like concert tickets, or, like movie tickets, or like try to buy you something. Like make, try to reconcile the situation. Or you could sue them for like, I'm gonna shoot him for vomiting on me. Right, you can shoot him for vomiting on you and you can get money. So, I would have him talk on me. Be like, come on, I'm right here. Let's go. Anyway, um, we hope y'all enjoy game night. Maybe we we like might throw up on each other. <laughs> oh my God! Depends on what the situation was for the night. Anyway. Yeah, so thank y'all for stopping the game night at the little house. So we may have to make this a little series because I like this. This was fun. Game night. But um, if y'all enjoyed game night, make sure you like this video. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Stop being petty. Stop being petty. Stop yes. being petty, petty. And if there's anything that y'all want to see us do while we eat, please drop it down in the comments. Yeah, drop it low. Drop it way down low in the comments. We coming to this camera with okay. some food. And some foolishness. Okay? <laughs> Period. That's on period. So we gonna finish these crawfish and these crabs and uh y'all have y'all a good night. And in the words of my friend type of the brown, and if you can't have you a good one, don't you dare go mess up nobody else. Bye. Bye y'all. <laughs>